All right, lads, it looks like we're actually getting our first look at the ordeal call stuff because it looks like it's going to be coming very soon, June 7th. And we also got our first look at the skill tree. Now, we haven't gotten too much information on it, but we've got a better idea of what it's going to be. And we've seen some of the items that we're going to need to maybe farm or that we're going to get during ordeal call to strengthen our classes. Because if you don't remember from the last live stream we got, or it was like two live streams ago, they basically announced we're getting this like skill tree system. If you've ever played something like uh, Dokkan, they have things like this, where you kind of go through the different skill tree and you unlock different abilities. But Usually those are for individual characters. For FGO, it seems as though once you do the saber skill tree, it permanently buffs all of your sabers. So we're gonna kind of talk about all that we know so far in today's video. But again, if you enjoy daily FGO content, make sure you leave a like on the video and you subscribe to the channel for that content. Also, make sure you go peep those links down in the description down below, primarily that Twitch where even though I am still currently on vacation until next Wednesday, I'm still trying to stream as much as I can, although I do get a little bit busy. But let's go ahead and start first and foremost, not with this, but actually with the translation over here for the little skill tree thing. Now, I know this is a little bit rough. I did throw it into Google Translate, but I have gotten a very good idea. I've kind of already looked over this, and it seems as though that we're going to move around the blanked earth, right? Which is what happened to start off the Lost Belt, right? The entire earth got turned white, and it looks like we're going to be traveling around it. We're going to get some of these little items over here and some of these items, and we're going to use these to kind of go around our skill tree. Now, it looks like this is what's going to allow us to move. If you think about the, say, imaginary scramble event, how you were able to uh, farm points and then have like Raiko go out or to have Melta Lilith go out or Osaka Behime, and they would kind of clear paths for you. I imagine this is the item you're going to use to move around. And then this is what you're going to use to unlock the different nodes over here. Now, we still don't know how strong these buffs are going to be. I can't imagine that they'll be super broken because they strengthen the entire class, right? I can't imagine it's going to be like, oh, once you unlock it, you get like 50% bonus attack HP. Well, we don't really have a defensive stat, but you get like maybe skill cooldown and stuff like that. I can't imagine we're going to have things that insane. I could be wrong, but because it covers the entire class, I imagine they will just be like kind of small buffs that you build up to. Like I could see like a 10% increase to uh, your stats just in general for your saber class for instance or maybe an, like a 10 percent increase in np damage stuff along those lines maybe if you're lucky it'll like reduce the cooldown of all of your skills by one for your sabers once you complete it something along those lines i think is what we can expect but again keep in mind it's not like those games like say uh genshin or like the new star rail game or even something like Dokkan, where you get very powerful effects for getting your dupes, but that's because it only affects that one servant. So you're kind of rewarded for chasing copies, whereas this is going to be for the entire class. So again, I don't want anybody's hopes to be getting up being like, oh man, if we like finish the entire tree, I'm going to see like 50% bonus NP damage, 100% bonus buster damage, stuff like that. We could see that because maybe it's really hard to do. You know, we don't know how easy it is to get these materials, but at least now we kind of have a basic grasp on how this functions. And I'm really excited that we're finally getting something like this. Again, like I said, when it was first announced, a lot of these other gacha games already have things like skill trees. And so I'm liking that we're seemingly getting a more free to play version of that. Cause it looks like, again, just by like kind of doing ordeal call, it seems as though we'll just be able to slowly unlock all these things uh, for our servants. But again, we'll have to see how easy it is to acquire these materials. Maybe it's really hard. And so that means that we get a huge return on our investment and like, uh, we get huge buffs for our classes or whatnot. So we'll have to see about that. But so they did put this out in game and I went ahead and just threw it in here just to kind of get a rough translation. But yeah, everything else over here is just like, oh, now that Lost Belts are done, we're going to do the ordeal call stuff because I don't want to spoil too much, but we got some dudes that are coming after us. And I'm pretty sure if anybody's seen any of the like PVs or any of the um, art that's come out for ordeal call, you could probably piece together uh, who is coming after us. So get excited. We might be getting some very hype servants coming down around June 7th, but at least right now we have like a reduced AP campaign. It looks like we're kind of going through some of the Lost Belt stuff because as you can see, we're kind of starting out with Lost Belt 1 uh, plus Nikki over here because I know that she's a part of like Tagunska Sanctuary, but I guess they're like, oh, let's just throw with like the, the Russian Lost Belt guys. That just kind of makes some sense. So they're throwing them in here. I'm assuming that over the coming weeks, we're just going to be getting like banners and stuff that kind of correlate to each Lost Belt banner. Uh, so if you're someone that has not gotten like 
Arjuna Alter or Scotty, people along those lines, you might be able to scoop them up as a part of this campaign. But again, we'll have to kind of see what they decide to do because maybe they're really weird and they're just doing the Lost Belt 1 banner. I don't really know. It also looks like they're kind of slowing down their um, rate of buffing people because it's not like <laughs> we're getting any new buffs. It's just like, yeah, here you go. You're going to get this. It's going to help you like kind of complete the campaign. If you do struggle, they are giving out these like free little um, what are they called? The revival cubes is what I'm calling them. The blue cubes, right? You can also pick some up for a uh pretty cheap over in the mana prism shop i saw that this morning when i logged in so if you're really struggling to get past like i don't know like arjuna altar or something and you're like just getting absolutely blasted by him you can't beat him then this is going to be a very good opportunity for that also for someone like me who has still not finished lost belt 7 this right here is particularly good because i'm assuming they're gonna want you to have finished all the lost belt stuff for ordeal call because ordeal call does seem like it's kind of like the solomon for part two right if that makes sense it looks like some big finale type thing but again i'll be excited to see if it is like a finale and then we're going to move into like a part three or if it's going to be like kind of an in-between part which is what we had with 1.5 right with like shinjuku salem all that stuff going to be kind of excited to see how like they try to pin a lot of this stuff but if you want to know if you should be summoning on this banner or not i'm just going to tell you right now please don't summon on this banner as much as i like someone like nikki and i think ivan is actually pretty solid now after his most recent buff on jp this is just not a banner that you want to be summoning on because with the ordeal call stuff coming it looks like we're going to be kind of be hitting a like power jump right or we're going to have like this little power cliff happen in fgo because I don't know why they're just like kind of throwing this stuff out here this just tells me that content seems to be getting a bit harder we did just have lost belt 7 which a lot of people i know were kind of having a rough time with with even random bosses like i was hearing people struggling with the benny alter boss and you know that was something that i was like oh i just kind of went in there and beat her up but i guess she could be quite annoying if you don't have like a, a really solid box or whatever um so i don't know it just don't summon on this you don't want to be summoning on stuff like this if draco was something to be like kind of indicative of power creep that's coming we're going to be getting stronger and stronger servants i mean they're even introducing new classes still so i think fgo definitely has a lot of stuff in their back pocket um i know that i've always talked about how like the game is not like super well optimized so it seems like they kind of like struggle to implement new things but it looks like lasengel might be moving forward to introduce some new hype things so get excited it looks like things on jp are going to be really really cool which is uh going to be interesting because this is usually a point where jp is a little bit slower and then global is going to be like picking up with lost belt six but we're gonna have lost belt six and ordeal call going on at the same time you can sign me up for that i'm absolutely excited so let me know in the comments down below if you are excited for this coming over on the jp version of the game out of and i guess not spoil the people but out of the three people you know wink wink nudge nudge that we kind of know are going to be coming for ordeal call you know we have with some certainty that we're expecting them to release uh let me know who you're the most excited for although i'm pretty sure i know what the most popular answer is going to be but let me know that all in the comments down below again don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe for that daily fgo content and i will catch you guys in the next video peace late guys